Welcome to the Chaska Middle School West Band Department Podcast for Friday, the 18th of November. Thought I would do it outside here on the uh, first snowfall of the year, and uh, even though not much snow is left on the ground, um, I thought it'd be fun to do it out here. So this is our weekly podcast where I talk about what's going on in our band department, and so you know what events are coming up, what we're working on, fun things that are going on. So join us every week to hear about uh, all this great information. So. I'm just going to start by just reminding everybody as we come up on the end of the trimester here that uh, we have band lessons this week for just the sixth graders on Monday and Tuesday. And that band lesson calendar can be found on the website at the uh, Chaska Middle School West website if you just click on the music tab. And um, sixth graders can play those playing tests in their lessons this week if they'd like to. Now, they can also record them, and this also goes for the seventh and eighth graders. All playing tests are due at midnight on Tuesday night, the 22nd. And you can record them however you want to do it on your phone, on your computer, Chromebook, um, any tablet device. And you can use things like Wii Video, which works on the Chromebooks really nice. You can also use GarageBand. You can use Smart Music, Audacity. Seventh graders can use Music First. Um, you can just use your, your phone and use your audio on your phone. It doesn't have to be video, just audio, but it can also be video if you'd like to. So, And again, the playing test songs that are due. For the sixth graders in your AOA book, it's numbers 50 and 61. Percussion number 50 on the snare, 61 on the bells. For seventh grade out of your AOA book, uh, Woodlands and Brass, it's numbers 15, 19, and 27. And for the percussionist, it's numbers 15 and 26 on snare drum and 19 on the bells. And then finally for eighth grade out of your AOA book, it's numbers 9, 16, and 24. For the percussion, number 9 on the bells, 16 and 24 on the snare drum. Whew, it's not very warm out here today. Um, so that's the playing test. Now also due on Tuesday is everything else that's due by the end of the trimester since it is the last day of the term. And uh, so that would include a short little music theory test that we're going to take in band this week in all three grades dealing with knowing your note names. That means knowing what letter name each note is on the spaces and lines on the staff. Um, also, we just recently did a practice reflection sheet that is on Google Classroom. If you did not do it yet, you need to have that in by midnight Tuesday, as well as the concert reflection that we did three weeks ago after our concert, and that's also on Google Classroom. And then finally, sixth graders, you also need to have the 12 practice tips Google Doc that we did way at the beginning of the year, and that's also on Google Classroom. So that's what's due by midnight Tuesday, and uh, your grades will be posted after Thanksgiving. So also coming up, uh, a few of you are auditioning for the State Honor Band, and those auditions are due on Friday, December 2nd, so make sure that you're getting that in. That includes the recordings as MP3 files, as well as the audition sheet and the $15 check to MBBA. If you have any questions about that State Honor Band, people feel free to email me and make sure you do it soon since that due date is coming up here in a couple weeks. Um, also want to let the 7th and 8th graders know that your permission slips to the Eden Prairie Mall trip are due on December 6th. That trip will be taking place on December 13th. If you need another copy of that permission slip, I have a bunch of hard copies in the band room. And then sixth graders, a reminder too that you are also going to be playing some uh, holiday music and you're going to be doing it right at CMS West going up and down the hallways on Monday and Tuesday, December 19th and 20th. And it will be taking place during your band lessons. And then finally, another thing I want to just talk about really quick before I talk about the after school events coming up, our talent show is uh, going to be on January 13th this year at Chanhassen High School. The auditions for that show will be on Wednesday, December 14th after school from 2.30 to 5 in the band room. We'll also be using the choir room and large gym for that uh, audition event. If you want to audition for the show, you need to make sure that you just simply work up one minute worth of your talent. That could be singing, dancing, playing an instrument, magic, martial arts, comedy, and a number of other things. So uh, have a minute ready to go, and then you will do that at the audition. There is no sign up. You just have to show up that day to audition. And the eighth grade band is the, are the people that are putting on that show. If you're on the audition committee, make sure that you are at, st planning to stay after school that day. It's 14th of December, 2.30 to 5. And uh, the publicity committee and audition committee will be putting up signs around the school uh, this week, this short two-day week that's coming up. So let's talk about after school events. Only a couple this week since it's a short week. Our hip hop electronica class ends this Monday. We'll be going until 4 o'clock this Monday. And our beginning guitar class will continue this Tuesday after school till 3.30. Uh, there are no other after school classes this short week. Uh, rhythm section, jazz band, garage band, they will all reconvene uh, the week after Thanksgiving. 
some other upcoming events and uh, things of importance to know about. Um, starting second trimester, which is starting after Thanksgiving break, we'll start what we call bonus lessons. Uh, these are lessons that are also pull-out lessons, like the regular band lessons, but they're options for students to participate in. And the bonus lessons are on certain topics like jazz piano, drum set, learning a new woodwind or new brass instrument like oboe, bass clarinet, French horn, tuba, and there's a long list uh, in and above that. Uh, learning bass guitar. Uh, th there's a ton of them. So these are lessons that people can attend if they are interested. Uh, in some cases there are limitations to who can attend. For example, if you want to try the tuba, you have to be a brass player in order to do that. If you want to try the drum set, you either need to be a percussionist or have asked um, permission from me in order to attend those lessons. So if you want more information on the bonus lessons, let me know. They do not take the place of the regular band lessons, so we still ask that students attend the regular band lessons. Another thing that's starting up after break is our country bluegrass band that we auditioned for uh, back in October. The students who have, uh, are in that band already know, and uh, you will be starting up on Monday, December 5th after school, and then we'll be rehearsing every Monday through the month of February and even into early March. Uh, we have another great event coming up in December involving our garage bands, and that will be Chaska Rocks Toys for Tots. Ooh, that's a brisk win. That will be taking place on Saturday, December 10th at the Chaska Cooperative. Uh, that's located at 401 East 4th Street in downtown Chaska. They have a really cool theater in there that the garage bands will be playing at, as well as some groups from the Soundcheck Music Studio in downtown Chaska. It will take place at 6 p.m. Garage band kids will need to be there at 545. And this is free and open to the public. We do ask if you can bring a toy to donate to Toys for Tots. That would be awesome, too. So that's on December 10th, Chaska Rocks, Toys for Tots. I already mentioned our Eden Prairie Mall trip for 7th and 8th grade band members. All 7th and 8th grade band members will be attending. I will be putting you into small ensembles of about 15 to 20 people in each. And there will be a variety of instruments in each group. And you will perform for about 20 minutes in the uh, center square of the mall. And then uh, you will also be asked to watch a couple other groups perform, and then you'll also have some time to eat when they're at the mall. And again, that is on Tuesday, December 13th. Uh, I already mentioned the talent show auditions, and that, again, is open for anybody in the school, regardless if you're in band or choir or not. Um, any 6th through 8th grader can be in that. And I already mentioned the 6th grade caroling. Um, so yeah, so just a couple other things before I sign off. Um, this was one of the rare weeks this past week where we didn't have any major performances, so I thought I would just share a couple of my own highlights. Um, for the first time in my 20 years teaching, I got to attend Deep Portage and had an absolute blast. I went with my son, who goes to Pioneer Ridge Middle School, and um, just loved the, uh, the learning that goes on there, the team building that goes on there, uh, the camaraderie, the food was good. I can't believe it took me 20 years to get out there. I would definitely be back. That is a great trip. Sixth graders, you are so lucky to, to get to go to that event. Um, I shouldn't just say sixth graders, everyone in our school has had a chance to go to that. Um, so what a wonderful thing. Uh, I think my favorite part was the wolf howling, where you go outside and you have to find the alpha wolf as uh, the, the counselor, he or she, will go way into the woods and howl, and you have to howl back. And you have to just use your, your, your listening skills, basically, to, to find where the wolf is. Um, and then one other personal experience uh, from this week, I play in a rock band called Power Tap some of the greatest people in the world so nice uh, so talented and we get to play oh one or two gigs a month um, so it's just awesome we play cover tunes everything from 60s motown to uptown funk and everything in between lots of 80s which of course i love um, and it's just a good example of music can be a part of your life um, regardless of what your career is now obviously i'm a music teacher but there's a, our drummer is a nurse um, one of our lead singers is a real estate agent um, our, one of our other singers works at a church. Um, one of our guitarists is a uh, very successful businessman. So we all uh, take these different careers and come together to, to make great music um, for weddings or private events and things like that. So um, we just had an opportunity to play again this past Thursday for a charitable event in YZ and uh, just a lot of fun. So kids, just think, you know, you're just at the beginning of your musical journey and regardless of what you think you want to do with your life, or some of you probably have no idea, which is fine, you're, you're only in middle school, um, you will be able to continue playing music and have a lot of fun with it down the road uh, for as long as you want. So, um, As far as uh, just a couple of closing things, uh, join, uh, follow me on Twitter at CMSWBand. 
or at Eric Songer or at Songer Studio. Um, you can also get text alerts from me regarding band related events and items. If you send the text message at 16 17 band 6 or at 16 17 band 7 or at 16 17 band 8, uh, depending on what grade you are in, and then you send that message to the number 8 10 10, you will get alerts from me about lesson schedules, upcoming concerts and assignments, and pictures from events and other various things. So. And uh, next week's a short week. I'll probably try to make a podcast sometime before we get back out of school on November 29th. So always check back here on YouTube. Love that you're listening to the podcast and uh, just really enjoyed this first trimester. Really looking forward to two more trimesters. So many fun things around the corner. I feel like first trimester is just the start. And now here we go. Many more fun events and performances and uh, great things going on in the music world at CMS West. All right, I'm going to get in from out of the cold. Enjoy the snow, everybody.